YouTube, welcome back to the farm. And today, as you guys can see, we got snow out there, we got ice out there. You name it, we've had it the past 24 hours. So, with the cold temperatures coming in, we I decided to get the Fisher wood burner going and just haul in some firewood today, guys. It's kind of going to be just a short little video. And as you can see, we got the Yamaha Viking out here. And with that size of bed, you can really haul a good load of firewood with it. You'll be anxious to see if I can get it up out of here. Uh, like I said, there's probably roughly, I don't know, six inches of snow just right there. Where it's down by the building where the shades hit. But uh, other than that, uh, it's been it's been quite cold. The uh, biggest reason I've been wanting to get wood in though is gas froze up the other day. And I was kind of expecting it, but I didn't want to go down like the wood burner. But wood burner is going now it'll probably burn all this week so uh we got a good bit of wood left we not burned much wood this year since the winter's been very mild we've had more snow this year but i mean it's not been really cold like you know eight years ago but anyhow a little update on the farm cows are doing good we're still feeding we just fed some hay yesterday with the john deere 2038r also I think I went through probably roughly 25 bales so far this winter with just three cows in there and they've been cleaning up pretty good. We, we bought some good, some high quality hay this year, we really did. And uh, they, they really been cleaning it up, but uh, cows are doing good. Like I said in uh, other videos, we did not have no calves this year, which, you know, that's a that's the life of farming guys it, i mean it, it's going to happen so you just gotta take the licks and go with it and okay guys we got all the wood put in and now <clears throat> what i want to get back to is we're going to talk about hay and what kind of hay to feed in the winter or how much you're going to feed in the winter uh, according to how many head of cattle you got so on and so forth and stick around because i got this new little i found this thing online and i'm going to say it's pretty doggone close and you just gotta be smart when you use it. You gotta over calculate everything, or at least I do. Now, the situation I ran into this year is that I kept three head of cattle on the farm and kept the others at my buddy's, which he had plenty of hay. So, as you can see, uh, my hay pile or my hay pile in the pole pole barn is dwindling. There's probably roughly. Uh, 10 bell right here there's also three more from this particular person i bought this from in the stock trailer which is parked outside right now that's not have enough room for it in here but uh and this is good quality hay very good quality hay uh the cows actually will move the hay ring out of the way to eat it uh when it gets down so low so that shows you have a good quality hay because if you never most of the time they're just going to sit there and it's going to sit in there and rot. And no matter how much you say, and we've all said this, well, they can, they'll eat it or they'll find something to eat. Well, you know, a lot of times it ain't like that. And when it's cold like this, you got to have a high protein feed, which a lot of people use silage. Uh, and silage is fine with, you know, I got the John Deere 2038R. I'd have videos of handling the silage bales, a four before silage bale, but believe me, they don't, they don't like it. Uh, silage bale is anywhere, uh, I mean, 12, 13, 14, 1500 pound, if not more, depending on what size you get. So you, you definitely want to make sure if you're going to think about feeding silage, you got more enough tractor. Uh, putting a silage bale in the rear of this tractor really don't bother me much, but anyhow also when you buy your bells or if you bell your bells you, you want to buy a nice tight wrap bell and i can tell when i put fork these with the tractor they're going anywhere from nine to a thousand pound easy uh you know the reason I, the reason i can tell it I, i've not had them weighed but i i can just tell by the way my tractor handles them and i've had a thousand pound on it and i know how it feels with a thousand pound in the front of it so <clears throat> something to look at but Anyhow, if you, and I'm going to give you a close up of this hay, if you look at this hay, it's hard to find weeds in it. And 
that means that they take care of, they lime, they fertilize, so on and so forth. And I know some people don't like to hear the word fertilizer and you want to do natural. Yeah, that's fine if you can do it. And, and I suggest it if you're trying to build your soil. But to be honest, fertilizing is the easiest way to do it. And especially if you're just in the hay market. Where I buy this hay, they don't run no cattle. Now they do lease out some of their farm for people to run cattle with, but they don't run them themselves. So, but let's go ahead. I'm, we're gonna go ahead and show you this hay. Like I said, guys, you can look in this hay, and you're not going to find. I, I can't find no weeds whatsoever in it. You can kind of pick it up and give it a smell. It has a very good smell to it. it. Smells like. And a lot of people say, "Well, why do you smell hay?" I mean, it smells freshly baled. And like I said, you can just tell. And it's got a real tight core in it. You can't stick your hand in it anywhere in this bell. If you can stick your hand in there, like right there, I mean, that's as far as I can get it. And I'm jamming it pretty hard. That's a tight wrap bell. That, that bell's going to weigh something. A lot of the times when I first got into it, and I'm going to use the outside here for an example. I'll tilt the camera down here a little bit because your outside layer is going to be loose. You could do this in the middle of your bell. And that, that just, that ain't no good. So, anyhow, you can see hay quality means a lot. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and show you this. I'm hoping the camera picks it up all right because I, I like to show you this. And I'm going to put the link below, so make sure you go to that link and check it out. And I'm not getting paid to show it to you. But it is a hay calculator. There we go. It focused. So, what you're going to do is you're going to put your average weight of your animal. So I'm going to guesstimate. Let's, I always estimate high. Let's just say my cattle weigh 1,500 pounds, which they don't. So done. Number of animals. I got three animals. Days. I'm going to feed from November to, let's just say, April. So that's 30 days, 180 give or take like i said i know february only has 20 some days average bell weight i'm going to drop that down to 900 like i said just to overestimate some i want to drop it down to that come on baby focus i think it's focused there okay then you just go down here put calculate 27 bells that's what they're saying i needed and i had 30 in this garage here so I'm not fed them all. It's already, what, February 14th. You know, that's going to be pretty darn close. Again, you got to average in your winners. And <clears throat> I know averaging in a winter is hard anymore, especially with the winters we have. So, like I said, uh, this winter has been a lot colder than last winter, which I fed 10 head last winter. I went through close to 70 bale of hay. And one of the biggest reasons you went through that much hay is that it was a low quality hay. When I found this hay, I paid $30 a bale for it, and it was well worth it. Uh, the guy actually wanted 35 but since I bought 30 bale, he knocked, you know, some off. And that was uh, two trips, and that's hauling 15 bale a trip. And as you guys can tell, it is pretty cold in the building here right now. Uh, you can see my breath, but... That's why we ain't doing a video outside, and that's why we got the firewood gathered up. But anyhow, guys, that's what you got to figure. And on that, what I just showed you there that you can find online, and it's, uh, believe it or not, it's Tractor Tools Direct where I found that hay calculator at. You can go with sheep, alpaca, goats, horses, beef steer, llamas. Let's just go to a horse, it's, and I'm going to do the same calculations. And it's telling me for a horse, I need 18 bells. I don't know if, I don't think a horse would, depending on how you feed the horse, it would go through 18 bells of hay. It might. And like I said, I started my feeding in November because, you know, the way I rotate my pastures, they, I mean, they'll still pick grass when the snow's off of it. And if you do have snow on and they can't go pick grass, you're probably going to feed just a little bit more hay. So if, if you went by that, 27 bell and you're not feeding them anything else except hay yeah 
you might get away with it, but I would guesstimate at least 30 bell, maybe 35. And we'll see how many I have left, which I have more than 30 bell on hand because of where I live. I don't ever want to take the chance and cut myself that close. I would rather carry over 10 bell a year than I would, you know, especially storing them inside. And go check out that video, guys, on the storage part of it. You know, when you stack them in a building like this, you want to make sure they're dry bells. You want to make sure they have rest time and, you know, all that because <clears throat> you don't want to stack them inside your nice pole building, barn, whatever you have or close to your house in a catch fire. Then a bad day. Like I said, I'll try to link that video above and uh, you, you want to check it out because it, it's, it happens a lot. It, it really does, you know, run with the uh, fire department. We don't see much of it around here, but and because we're not a big farming community around here you do have some small cattle farmers but like i said most of them are feeding silage silage you leave outside so but anyhow guys i just kind of wanted to go over that since it's winter time here a lot of people are starting to get into farming which is is wonderful i mean you can't ask for nothing better like i said i did as you like i said as you can see i do it with a john deere 2038r and which is a a good tractor because you can cut your grass with it, you cut your meadows with it, you can do whatever you want and still be able to, you know, you don't want to use the word hobby farm for purposes, but uh, you can have you a nice little farm. But anyhow, guys, I appreciate everybody watching. Come check out the live stream. I think we're going to try to start doing them every Monday night around 7.30, 8 p.m. Eastern. And like I said, we usually give away John Deere hat, you know, kind of like what I'm wearing, or I just usually go pick one. But uh, anyhow, guys, uh, one more thing. Uh, we're going to be doing some stuff with Super Clean. They reached out to us. We've not worked out a uh, deal yet, but uh, we're going to try out their products. I'm going to see if I like them. Then I'm going. we're going to do some more talks with them, which will be great for you guys because... That is one thing we will negotiate is taking care of the subscribers, maybe kind of do like Stony Ridge Farmer does and be able to give away some prize packs, hopefully. So we'll, we'll be doing that. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, it, it's really, it, it needs to be out there because it, it's a to hot topic on a lot of, you know, you go around with how, many, how much hay I need, blah, blah, blah. That, that, that calculator right there, pretty good rule of thumb. It, it really is. I mean, it's close. I'm not saying it's precise by any means. Like I said, if you substitute some grain with your hay, which like I do, I substitute a 16% protein pellet uh, for my cattle. And the biggest reason is because I ain't feeding silage. Silage is high in protein, higher than this. So, you know, protein is what it's all about. To get back to one thing I did touch on earlier is the bull situation. Uh, to go over it, which a lot of you may not make it to the end here, but to go over it, we did have a bull problem this year. He did not breed our cattle. I've seen him jump a couple of them, wrote the dates down, no calves. So that's what I was banking on is having three more mouths to feed. That's why I had more hay than, you know, 30 bell, but it didn't happen. And that's just part of farming. Uh, really my calves pay for my hay. Am I going to continue to winter cattle? I don't know yet. I think I may get into some feedlots uh, and stuff like that. And also, guys, during the winter, remember, cattle still need minerals. Got to give them minerals. Uh, horses, goats, whatever, any kind of livestock, got to give them minerals, guys. So keep that in the back of your mind, too. And I hope that this was helpful to some of you guys. If you guys have any questions, please leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, I'll try to answer them to the best of my knowledge. If not, we'll look it up and we'll work through it together. I try to get back to everybody's comment I can. I'm not saying I get everybody, but most people I do get back to. Some of your comments, guys, if you leave a link or something, YouTube puts them in review and sometimes I forget to look at that. So uh, if you don't see it on there, it ain't that I'm deleting it. It just got held. Uh, it, I think profanity will get it held too. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. I'm going to go back out on the cold farm and do a couple things, and then I'm going to try to get some sleep. But I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. See ya.